Hi there, Walt with the Schultz team. Hey, I wanted to walk through with you our down payment assistance program for FHA, where you can actually get an FHA loan uh, to become more of 100% financing. So let me explain. As we walk through it, I ran some numbers here on a $450,000 purchase price. Uh, total loan amount would be 4000 or 457599 Now you might ask, if it's 100% financing, why am I paying an extra $7,599? I'll explain in a little bit. So the blended rate between the first and the second mortgage is going to be 7.570. I'll explain more about that in a minute too. <laughs> and uh, here we've got the blended APR, 360-month term. Total payment would be $3,951. And then closing costs, cash to close, would be roughly $10,695. Now, the nice thing, right, as we're sitting here, February 28th, 2024, uh, it's a little bit more of a buyer's market in the sense that there's not a lot of competition. Um, and so some sellers are willing to pay for closing costs right now. Uh, this won't always be the case, uh, but there might be a good chance where you can get some or all of those closing costs paid by the seller um, in essence, getting into this house with little or no money out of your pocket. Now, as I walked through, let me walk through the payment with you. 450 purchase price, your principal and interest payment is 3,089 a month. The second mortgage, because it is a second mortgage, is 2,000, I'm sorry, $203 a month. We're estimating property taxes at 400 a month, estimated homeowners insurance at $60 a month, and then your mortgage insurance premium would be roughly 198 a month. Now, the mortgage insurance premium with FHA, you'll have the entire life of the loan. So it's something that we'd want to refinance and get into a conventional loan and get rid of that mortgage insurance premium when we could. So total payment would be $3,951 per month on a $450,000 purchase price. As we look at closing costs, and this is where I said that I would let you know, um, the loan to value would be over 100%. That's with the first and the second combination. So it'd be 101690 um, closing costs, our fee is roughly $1,595. And then we've got, you know, we're guesstimating $2,800 for appraisal, recording fees, escrow title, those fees. And then roughly $6,700 for um, prepaid closing costs, which would be taxes, insurance, and interest. Uh, taxes for the year, insurance for the year, and then interest for the amount that we close in the loan that month. Now, why are we over 100% financing? It's because of the mortgage insurance financing fee, upfront mortgage insurance financing fee charged by FHA to do an FHA loan. And this amount gets financed on top of your loan amount. You can bring it to closing. The seller can pay it for you if they're willing to, um, or you can finance it on top of your loan amount. I'm showing it here as being financed on top of your loan amount. Uh, so you can purchase a house with little or mo no money out of your pocket. Um, I will say that the second mortgage is amortized over 10 years instead of over 30 years. And it's something you can pay off sooner rather than later if you wish. The interest rate on the second mortgage is 2% above the start rate on the first mortgage. Here we have the start rate on the first mortgage at being 7.5%. It's going to be a little above market. Um, and then we've got our second mortgage that would be 9.5%, uh, which is 2% interest rate above what the start rate would be on the first mortgage on the FHA transaction. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Please feel free to reach out. We're here to help in any way that we can. And I hope this makes sense. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.